According to ESPN Crick Info, the report also criticizes an opaque and inadequate accounting system which enabled abuses to go unreported and posted a threat to the board's long-term sustainability. News of the report's findings comes as CWI struggles to pay match fees owed to its players. But while it is clear the current board management is grappling with a cash flow crisis, the report puts much of the blame on historic factors. Those historic factors center predominantly on the previous administration headed by Dave Cameron. Cameron has told ESPN Crick Info that he's a victim of a smear campaign and questioned the credibility of the report and its findings. The report intended only for the attention of CWI directors, but seen by ESPN Crick Info, criticizes the previous administration for creating an unsustainable bureaucracy. Among the key issues was the decision to promote the corporate secretary to the position of chief operating officer within the same accounting period as recruiting a new chief executive officer officer to perform similar tasks. Cameron was president of CWI, previously West Indies Cricket Board, from March 2013 until March 2019. At that time, he was defeated in his re-election attempt by Skerritt, who called for this report. Cameron, responding to findings in the report, insisted every decision he made had the appropriate approvals. He flatly denied each and every allegation made expressly or implicitly against him. CWI, meanwhile, is coming under increasing pressure to publish the report in full. Michael Holding, the former fast bowler, has called on Skerritt to match his pre-election talk of transparency with action. But Skerritt says there was never any plan to publish the report and insists its recommendations, most of it which relate to greater clarity and accountability in reporting and a lessening of the executive role of the president, have been enacted.